Well, hello. Great afternoon, everyone. Happy Tuesday. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Break with Tamisha. I missed y'all. I just got back from Mexico yesterday. I missed y'all. Everybody good? Tell me, what have you done since last Tuesday to move your business forward? Anybody want to share? Who's that? Hey, Benita. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, everyone. I got my Uplift certificate. Congratulations. <laughs> got her Uplift certification. Awesome. So for those who have not um, done Uplift or don't know what it is, Benita, tell us, what is it? Um, Uplift is a, um, I, I guess I could say a program that's like when people want to do payment plans for their trips, um, it's like a loan you borrow. And when you get approved, they pay it up front and you just make a payments. Um, there's more details to it, but you make payments on that. Uh, Did I say that? Yeah, very <laughs> okay. good. Great certification to have, nice service, right? To be able to offer mm -hmm. for travel clients. So awesome, congratulations. Anybody else, what have you done since last Tuesday? to move your business forward. I did something. Okay, Kimberly. I went to um, Walmart one day and practiced um, using the knee. And I saw a few people who looked really nice and they had young children with them. Mm -hmm. So I approached them and gave them my business card and had a real brief conversation with them and they were just so excited like oh, okay you know I'm gonna call that type of thing so I just I hadn't done that before so I practiced doing that that's awesome what did what did you use to open up the conversation I said hello I see you have children <laughs> <laughs> and they smiled and was like yes and so I told one lady I said I normally don't do this but and she said, well, this must be divine. I said, I think you're correct. It is. <laughs> so. Nice. Nice. That's yeah. awesome. Good job. Good job. And did you die? <laughs> I did not. <laughs> All right. So go do it again. I Keep doing not. that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Anybody else? What have you done to move your business forward? Denise said, continue boot camp with Director Brown and putting a trip together for Hawaii. Awesome. Very good, Denise. Debbie, booking a family cruise on MSC for 24 people. Woo woo. That's what I'm talking about. Cha ching, cha ching. Amira, go ahead. So I set up my workstation over the weekend. So I'm super excited. You see, I'm at my desk and you know, I got my ring camera, like you said, and I got my license. I put some lipstick on, and I've been dressed for the day. Like, I'm following all your stuff. I'm officially a dream maker now. I completed all my stuff at, um, and now I'm working on my CLIA classes. In the meantime, I also launched my um, page on social media. So I'm just moving all, moving right along. Excellent. Excellent. Well, congratulations. I know you're definitely feeling accomplished, right? You're able to literally check things off the list to move your business forward. Yes. Excellent. Shamika? Well, over the weekend, I made 66 phone calls. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so I got some three-way calls scheduled. I actually did one three-way call with... Um, this prospect finally after years of prospecting him because he traveled a lot. Mm -hmm. And so just to hear his background information that he was in air force and his wife owns a pet grooming um, business. So I didn't, I didn't know these things. And so we had a great conversation. He's actually going to be on the zooms tonight. So I feel fantastic about that. So, and I also did some much needed cleaning. I threw away some stuff. I gave away some clothes and I actually burn, I feel good. Burn. I got space in here. And so yeah. That's awesome. Congratulations. Mr. Burke. Hey everybody. <clears throat> Hello, director. 
I, um, I did a PBR last week. Uh, that went really good. I have another one lined up for tonight and a third one lined up for Sunday. So I'm, I'm basically here just taking advantage of that pre-convention buzz because I'm going to go there like on fire, come out and use that energy just to roll through the rest of the year. Awesome. Congratulations. That's what I'm talking about. Actions, actions, actions. Ms. Zeta, you said I also did that. What were you referring to when you said that? The lift. I did the lift also. Oh, the uplift certification? Yes. yes awesome. Yes, Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Wendell said booking a wedding group to Jamaica. Woo. Cha-ching. Cha-ching. That's what I'm talking about. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Tangela passing out flyers. Tangela, what type of flyers were you passing out? Trace at Conquering Bootcamp Weekly with Director Brown did two three-way calls and they'll both be starting their business tomorrow. Nice. Also booked a group trip to Jamaica. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, Amira, you just got to register with Uplift and then you'll just look and see where their certification is. All right, so let's jump into, oh, you know what? I need to start recording. Oh, I am recording. Okay. <laughs> I almost forgot. Okay, so today we're going to discuss Chat GPT. Does anybody know what that is? Anybody want to share what they think it is? It's basically a, a AI that helps you with stuff. Um, I, I started using it. So it's an app. Good, good, good. Very good. So chat GPT is an artificial intelligence language model developed by OpenAI. It uses machine learning algorithms specifically a variant of the transformer model called GPT, generative pre-trained transformer to generate human-like text based on the input it receives. It's designed to mimic human conversation and can be used in a variety of applications like drafting emails, writing articles, answering questions, and more. So how have you struggled with what to post? Like English and writing is not your thing. Like I was an English major. So I love writing. I'm very clever with my words. That's my thing, right? But there's other people, they suck at it. <laughs> they get the there, there, there wrong. Y'all know what I'm talking about, right? Oh, that drives me nuts, right? your, they don't know when to use Y-O-U-R versus Y-O-U apostrophe R-E, right? Well, chat GPT is going to help you take your business to the next level, regardless of your education with English and writing, okay? And it's going to help you in so many ways. So I'm going to give you 10 reasons why you should start using chat GPT to grow your business and then I'm gonna show you some examples of how you can use it in your planet marketing and your IntelliTravel business. Y'all ready? You gonna love this, all right. Number one, versatility. Chat GPT can be used for a wide variety of tasks, including drafting emails, writing articles, generating creative content, coding help, and more. So this is not just going to be used for a post, right? But what about content for your travel group? What about creating a newsletter, right? In our IntelliTravel back office, we can create newsletters, right? Well, Jack, Chat GPT can help you with that as well. What about your emails, right? Putting together a professional email, what about sending um, information to your clients, your travel clients, putting proposals together? It can help with that too. 
right? Number two, 24 seven availability. As an AI, chat G GPT is available around the clock. It can assist you anytime without the constraints of human schedules. We love that, right? Because some of us are night owls. Some of us get up very, very early in the morning. So it does not matter. This is going to work whenever you need it. Number three, language proficiency. Chat GPT has been trained on a vast corpus of text. So it has a broad understanding of human language and can help with complex language tasks. You ever want to say something and you post, you, you type it out in a post and then you read it and you're like, eh, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> right. So then you go back and you do, how many, I mean, think about how much time you spend doing that, rewriting a post because it just, you're reading it and you're like, eh, this is going to help you with that. This is going to help you with that. Learning tool, number four, learning tool. Chat GPT can be used as a learning tool in various subjects. It can explain concepts in different ways until you find one that helps you understand. I love that. Um, I was at the luxury certification training this weekend, and that was some of the things. They were teaching us how to sell luxury travel. Well, guess what? Chat GPT can help with that too, right? You can explain, you can type in, you know, what is luxury travel or what does the luxury traveler look for or want? And it's just going to give you all that information, right? We like that, right? Number five, improves productivity. Improves productivity. By automating some tasks such as drafting and editing content, chat GPT can save you time and increase your productivity. Pretty much what I was just saying, right? Because how many times have we told you to increase your algorithm, you should post something every day, right? And then you're struggling like, oh my gosh, every day? I don't even have 365 things to even post about. Well, guess what? Chat GPT can help you with that. Right. And I'm going to show you some examples of that in a minute. Number six, creativity booster. Chat GPT can provide creative inputs for brainstorming sessions, story writing, slogan creation, etc., serving as a source of inspiration. Sometimes we just need that, that muse, that one thing that's just going to help us to get going, right? To get our, ju our creative juices going. Well, chat GPT can help with that. Number seven, user-friendly interface. User-friendly interface. It's generally easy to interact with, requiring no specific technical knowledge to start a conversation or ask for assistance. We love things that are user-friendly, so yes, to all of my baby boomers out there who keep saying you struggle with technology, you can use chat GPT too. It's very, very user-friendly. Cost-effective. Depending on the application, using an AI like chat GPT can be more cost-effective than hiring a human for the same task. It's especially true for tasks that need to be done at scale, like customer service. Um, some of you may be running ads on Facebook. How about Chat GPT can create the ad for you? Mm, you see what I'm saying, right? Instead of going to Fiverr and paying someone to make up an ad for you, you can use Chat GPT to do that for you, to help you with that. Non judgmental. Number nine, non-judgmental. Chat GPT can provide a non-judgmental space for users to explore ideas or ask questions they might otherwise feel embarrassed or hesitant to ask a human. How many of you have been in a meeting and you want to ask a question? Because I don't know, maybe the host used a concept that you're not familiar with or a word you're not familiar with and you're like, uh, I'm not gonna ask that question because I don't wanna 
I don't want to seem stupid. Like I'm the only one that doesn't know what that is. I know I'm guilty of that, right? Well, guess what? You can not answer it, write it down and then go to chat GPT and ask the question there. And it's going to give you um, an explanation in several different ways until you understand exactly what it means. Number 10, multilingual capabilities. Multilingual capabilities. Although primarily trained in English, Chat GPT also has capabilities in other languages, making it useful for multilingual users or tasks, right? Maybe English isn't your second language, your first language, right? Maybe Spanish is your first language. Well, guess what? You can use Chat GPT as well. Please note, while ChatGPT has many uses and benefits, it's important to use it responsibly and understand its limitations, such as the inability to provide personal advice. Please don't go ask in ChatGPT if you should get a divorce. Don't do that. Or if you should start a certain business. Don't do that either, <laughs> okay? So it cannot help you with personal advice. Don't ask it if you should invest in Bitcoin or not. Don't, y'all understand what I'm saying, right? Please use this technology responsibly, okay? It's, it's dependence on the data it was trained on. So understand that. All right, so I'm going to share my screen. I've downloaded um, one of the many. And here's, here's the thing. There are tons, okay, of AI apps that you can download for chat GPT. So you want to go to your, your iTunes or your, um, your Google Play, Play Store, whatever. Go to your app and just type in chat GPT and there's going to be a ton of options. It is going to be up to you to find the one that you want to work with, okay? I'm sure there may be some free ones. There's gonna be some paid ones. There's gonna be some that you can pay for the upgrade. You can pay for it weekly, monthly, yearly. It's an investment. This is something that you have to decide, is it worth the investment to pay for, pay into this app to help me upgrade, level up my business, my conversation, my posts, my advertising, okay? I just, I picked up one, the one that I'm, I'm going to show you for the year, I think it's like 60 something dollars, okay? And there's also another thing that you can look at is, um, chat GPT, no, type AI. So there's a keyboard, there's an AI keyboard that you can also download that can help you put out better text. It could do grammar correction for you. It could show you different ways of saying things. It can make sure that you um, are saying the right thing. So two separate apps. There's a separate AI keyboard for Jack, chat GPT. And then there's a general app that can do a whole bunch of other things. Okay. Um, Delta, Delta said, which do you recommend? Delta, I did not go looking through a whole bunch of them. I didn't do a whole bunch of research on it. So that I did not take a lot of time. There's a lot of, a lot of them are going to have trial periods. So Go, go through different ones and see which one is most user-friendly for you. Um, I tend to pick things that have the, high, the most stars and the most users to it um, because, you know, word of mouth is the biggest form, <laughs> right? It's the best way. If other people are using it and they're liking it, then they're telling other people to use it. So I tend to go with the ones that have the most stars and the most users. That's just how I pick stuff. I'm not going to pick something that just has 50 people you know, it might have five stars, but only 50 users are using it. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go for the higher amount of users. All right. All right. So I'm going to share my screen. Oh, 
Okay, can you all see my screen? My cell phone screen? Yeah. All right. So if you go to the bottom of these apps, you'll see Ask AI. That's the one that I've downloaded. And next to it is the keyboard one that I installed. So if you want to know which ones I use, take a screenshot. And again, the Ask AI is the chat GPT I'm using, and the AI keyboard is Type AI. All right, so let's go to the Ask AI. Now, I'm going to go down to the bottom where it says Write Your Message. And you know how, again, every morning you should or every day you should be posting something on your personal Facebook page even if it's just a good morning post. You want to keep your algorithm up. Um, so, you know, just doing a good morning post if you don't have a, a topic or a subject um, that you want to, um, that you could think of to put out, just go ahead and use this. So what I'm going to do is down on the bottom, I'm going to say, create a good morning post 30 words or less with an affirmation. So one of the things that I've, I've learned with this so far, I mean, I've literally have just started using it is the more information you put in your request, the more personalized it's going to be. The less information you put, the more generalized it's gonna be and, and also longer it will be. So remember, we don't want things that are gonna be too wordy. So you might say a good morning post with 20 words or less, 15 words or less, right? I'm just gonna put for the sake of this, 30 words or less. And then I'm going to hit the little send arrow. And it's thinking. And what did it come up with? Good morning. Embrace the day with joy and courage. Remember, you're braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. Make today great. How many of you like that post? Is that a great good morning post? simple, right? I know I may not have the knowledge to put something together like that using those words, right? But look how eloquent it is. And then all you have to do is hold down on the response. And now you have some options. I can copy, share, export, select text, read it regenerate, make it longer, make it shorter. Let's make it a little bit longer. I'm gonna hit make it longer. Good morning, okay. Good morning, beautiful souls. As the sun rises, let its warmth ignite your spirit. Embrace this new day with gratitude and positivity. Affirm to yourself, I am deserving of love, success, and happiness. I have the power to create a beautiful life. Today, I choose to radiate kindness, chase my dreams, and spread joy wherever I go. Challenges are merely opportunities for growth, and I am capable of overcoming them. With every step I take, I am moving closer to my goals. Remember, you possess incredible strength, resilience, and wisdom within you. Trust in your abilities and believe in the magic of new beginnings. May this day be filled with blessings, laughter, and countless reasons to smile. Rise and shine, for today holds infinite possibilities. Make it a day to remember. Again, I can hold it. I can share it, right? It's just a matter of what do you like about it, or you can change it. You may copy it, paste it, and then edit it in some way, right? Um, Let's look at, I'm going to type something different here. Um, 30 
words or less why you should upgrade your hotel resort room. Upgrading your hotel resort room enhances your comfort, enjoyment, and overall experience, offering better amenities, superior views, increased space, and personalized services, creating lasting memories for your stay. Again, I can hold it and I can say, make it a long, make it longer. All right? And, and so now it's given me a longer post. Oh, uh, post. <laughs> the other thing I can do is click on where it says regenerate. And it'll change the words around. It'll give a different way of saying it. So if I didn't like that, so this one is nice, all right? I may like this one better because it's giving me numbers, right? So it provided me, so I can start this post saying eight reasons why you should upgrade your hotel resort room. And this is a perfect post for your travel group. All right. Now, I'm going to show you how I use this with stuff from my Mexico trip. So here are some pictures that I took at Noriku which is at the Conrad Resort in Mexico. This was their um, steak restaurant. No, I'm sorry. Noriku was the, I'm sorry. This was the, the Asian restaurant. So I got some nice pictures of our food, right? And we all take pictures, right? Everybody takes pictures before they go in, right? This is what we do. We need content. And I typed in, let me see what I typed in. I typed in, and I like that it shows you your history. So I typed in, I typed in, write a post 300 words or less about a luxury dining experience at the Noriku Asian restaurant. That is what I typed in to the chat GPT. And this is what it came up with. The Noriku Specialty Dining offers a luxury dining experience that combines exquisite Asian flavors, impeccable service, and refined ambiance. From the moment you enter, you're greeted with attentive staff and a sleek contemporary design. The menu features a fusion of traditional and innovative dishes, each expertly crafted and beautifully presented with a curated wine and cocktail selection. Noriku ensures an unforgettable feast of senses. Now, I will tell you, when I first put this in AI, it gave me a much longer version of this but some of the things that were in the response were not true to that restaurant. So all I did was say, make it shorter so that it made it kind of a more general post that could be, right? This post could be for any Asian restaurant that you had a great experience, right? So I like that it was kind of more general um, and didn't say things that weren't true, right? So we wanna make sure you, you can't just take the information, just copy and paste it. Read it over, make sure it's applicable um, to you know, what you're doing. So one of the things that I did in Mexico was a half day Tulum Mayan tour. So we have some video here. Notice my logo on the bottom right-hand corner.
So someone else had took that video and they were talking behind it. Now the app that I use to add music and put my logo is called Templi. It's the bottom, the second one going across next to the My Chevrolet. You can take a picture of that. Templi um, is what I use. So I'm able to upload videos in Templi and then uh, it gives me options to add my logo, pick music, whatever I wanna do. It's going to be there. All right. So let's look at what chat. Let's see what I typed in right here. I just typed in Tulum Mayan excursion. And it gave me all this information about this excursion, not this particular excursion, but yes and no. Whatever was fed into the AI about it is in here. And so then I was able to take that information and now I tweaked it, right? Because when I typed in the chat GPT, I said 200 word post about the Tula Mayan excursion. What I probably should have did was a half day excursion. Again, provided more information because what it gave me was information about other things that are usually included with this excursion. Um, for example, going to the beach, being able to chill out the, at the beach there, um, going to the cenote um, springs. And my excursion didn't do that. It was not a full day excursion. It was a half day excursion. So I basically had to take this information that they did. I added in the word half day. Um, but then in some places like here, I say that the full day excursions also offer, right? And then moreover, the full day excursions often includes, right? So I had to tweak it to say what you could do a half day. My experience was a half day, but there are also full day excur excursions as well. And then what did I add at the bottom? A call to action to get engagement from my clients that are in my travel group, right? Comment below if you have ever visited Tulum Ru uh, Ruins, right? Or you could do, you know, who wants to go? I mean, whatever call to action, but you wanna do a call to action um, to it as well. All right, so let ooh, lots of questions, lots of questions or comments. Let me see, let me see, let me see, let me see. Um, Anne said, wow, you can use this for many things. Zara said, chat GPT is my BFF. <laughs> Rochelle said, it will give you advice though. Uh-huh, Erica shared which one she uses. Erica, great. She said, it's great for travel tip, travel tip, Tuesday. Yep. Uh, Amira said, this is excellent. Trey said, I love that. Rochelle said, it's nice. The best part about it is you can do different posts. Terry said, love it with my math brain. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. You can, you know, combine this with Canva right? And what you create in Canva as well for pictures and stuff. Amira said, all those times, I don't know what to say. This is a game changer. And that, that is what came to me um, when I learned about it was this is a game changer, especially for those that feel that they are inadequate with content. And con content is king. <laughs> right? Content is king. This help, this, this levels the playing field. Right? There's some people who attract people to their business because of who they are, the way they look, right? Well, guess what? I don't care if you're short, old, and, and bald, and fat. <laughs> This levels the playing field, right? Because now you can create amazing content. Um, Ebony asks, is Templi free? I don't know. I don't remember. Um, there's just certain things that I'm willing to invest if it's going to help me in my business. So 
um, just like Canva. Yes, there's a free version of Canva, but when you pay for it, for the upgrade, you have way better templates that you can use. So maybe you start off with the free, right? Make some money in your business and then you upgrade, right? Um, Delta, I see your hand up. There we go, I'm trying to get my mic on. Um, yes, my question is, well, I, I, I was looking at your examples and, and what you were doing. So that means that you, you can kind of play around with the words and putting the information in. So it's about what you put in, even Correct. in the of what you what the AI is going to give you back. Mm -hmm. Correct. That game changer for me because um when I would when I'm posting or things that I get, I do a lot of I I pick up things from, you know, maybe people are business partners that I have. If they post something, I'm oh I, matter of fact, I did it um this morning. I was reading something. Oh, I like that. Screenshot it. So it's in my phone. I always go back and you know, I kind of critique it and things like this. So this is definitely a game changer for me. It it, it helps me <laughs> working on my brain. <laughs> Cause sometimes my brain do over it go over low or a lot of times if i'm trying to create something i use a lot of paper because i'm writing it down i'm like no i don't want to do it that way and, and so definitely a game changer i, I appreciate it thank you woo -woo on that for real yeah. definitely and the other thing is you know how and i like what delta would say you ever find a post let's say i do a post and all of y'all like oh that post is fire and you copy it mm -hmm. and then you go and paste it and you might change a few words or maybe you really don't because you're like i don't know what to change it to it's perfect i like the way she wrote it well you can copy it paste it into the chat gpt and then put regenerate so that it will scramble up the words and create a whole different post but with the same meaning so that your post isn't exactly it's sending the same message, but it's not word for word exactly what that person says. Because some of y'all are, are a little impatient. And as soon as you see a post that someone posted today, you want to use it today. You don't have the patience to say, let me just save this and I'll use it next week or next month. Some of y'all are just like, nope, I want to post it right away. Well, now you have a way to switch up the wording um, so that you're not, you know, being obviously just not creative. <laughs> Anybody want to share some feed? Give me some feedback on this. What, what y'all think? I want to hear from my directors. I see Director White on, Director Short, Director Burke. I want to hear from my directors on this. Good morning. Well, it's still morning here in Chicago. Good afternoon. Um, <laughs> uh, I've used chat um, GPT a few times. Um, I haven't necessarily used it yet for content, but I have used it um, when like encouraging business partners, different things like that, um, tough conversations, you know, to use it as a framework to versus saying what I want to say. <laughs> so that's um, how I've been using it so far, but um, I do think it could be really helpful for like content posts, different things of that nature, creating web pages, you know, if you wanted to do something like that. So it definitely can be very helpful. Awesome, awesome. Director Burt. Hello. Now you know me personally, you know that I love to write. I'm always writing, you know, stories and stuff like that. When you showed this to me, I immediately purchased it and put it on my phone because this is incredible. This is one of the best things I've ever seen. And um, I know that this here, even with the posts that I have in my, you know, that I do every day, that people love, just the fact that I can take those posts and regenerate them and, you know, redistribute them. Any, it, it's, it's almost like I have... Uh, unlimited, unlimited knowledge when it comes to 
being able to uh, bring this to the people. So I, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited to work on this right now. I'm like, let's end the Zoom. Let me get go. Let me get started. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Erica? I absolutely love chat GPT. I love AI. Um, I use it personally for a few different things. I am a student and it has helped me a lot <laughs> when it comes to trying to answer these questions on these quizzes. Um, my AI has introduced me to new restaurants in the area. Um, it has helped me with my travel business as far as coming up with content. Travel Tip Tuesdays is something that I, well, I, I'm doing it every week, right? So it's nice to be able to have like a fresh idea. If you are interested in trying to develop a bio for yourself, you could put in your credentials, what you have. It will make something that is immaculate. Like this is something that you definitely want to use, play with, get to know, uh, because it's going to set you ahead of a lot of people. And AI in general, I um, I tell my best friend this, this is something that people are saying are going, it could possibly take over a lot of jobs. You're going to want to become very familiar with AI and the technology that it brings because you do not want to get left behind when it comes to AI. So get familiar with this, use it because this is what is going to um, be part of the next generations for sure. Absolutely. I agree 100%. Yes, unfortunately. Um, it's going to take away a lot of jobs for people unless they get degrees in AI technology where they're working behind the scenes with it. Um, but I, I always try to look at the positive of everything. And at some point, money is not going to be the focus for everything. And it's going to free people up to do things that they're really passionate about. And so imagine now not having, let's say you are the person who writes for a newspaper, right? And that, that's all you know. Okay, well, guess what? Chat GPT is probably going to replace, AI is going to replace that job, right? Because now it could be a one-man show, literally putting out a whole newspaper or writing a book or whatever. Um, but now what, what would that person's passion be? If they didn't have the right to earn a living, what would their passion be? Now they can focus more on their passion. So it's so important, and I know this conversation is going left, but it's so important that we identify, and let's look, again, look at the positive of everything. Yes, a lot of jobs are being replaced, but now that frees that person up to do something that they're passionate about. And I believe that we were all given gifts that are designed to help us to sustain ourselves, to, to earn income and to help other people. So if you're not chasing the dollar, what, what else would you be doing? And now you, you can focus on that. Um, I also love the idea of using chat GPT to maybe help you put together the proposal for your client, right? You can use chat GPT to, um, I, I put in, today just to see what it came up with i'm gonna share my screen i see you delta i'll come back to you in a moment but i want to share my screen again because again i was playing with it create a post 50 words or less that I'm looking to partner with people who want financial, personal, and time freedom. So here's an income produce, uh, income post, right? Seeking ambitious individuals, craving financial, personal, and time freedom. Let's join for forces and embark on a partnership journey towards limitless possibilities. Together we'll conquer boundaries and create a life of abundance. Join me in unlocking the doors to a future filled with success and fulfillment. Let's connect and make dreams a reality. That's a great planet marketing post. Let's regenerate it. Right? Seeking ambitious individuals, craving financial, personal, 
and time freedom. Let's partner up and unlock the doors to limitless possibilities together. Embrace a life of abundance, flexibility, and fulfillment. If you're ready to break free from the ordinary, reach out now and let's embark on this life-changing journey together. All right? We can make it longer. All right? Let's connect, discuss your goals and chart a course towards finance. I mean, this is perfect. This right here is a great planet marketing post. Maybe you make it a little shorter, take out a few sentences, but I mean, if you want to know, how, okay, what, what should I post for planet marketing, you know, to, to get people to want to join me? <laughs> Guess what? I don't have to come up with the post for you, right? Use chat GPT to help you create that post. Delta? Sorry about that. I am so thankful. Thank God for you. And the reason I say that is this. My first, I guess, experience or to find out about AI I was through media. And when they were negatively talking about it, this was, this was this is what my experience was. They were talking about how AI was it was being introduced, but it was stealing uh 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 Re recreating, you know, um, uh, I'm sorry, lost my train of thought. The people in the, in the music uh, industry, it was, you know, stealing their music. It was re uh, redoing their voices and things like that. So it, it was kind of giving me a negative look outlook on what AI is because of you being you and who you are. Thank God for you that you, 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 you take an AI and brought it to the forefront and being, being used as something positive. And I thank you for that because I, to, for me to be basically, I was like, wow, because I was looking at it negatively, how it, it make it, you know, do something negatively, you know, affect me it could be through, you know, your everyday life banking. It could be through anything, but you have shown just in a short period of time, how it can be positively used to enhance you as an individual and what you do in your business. So I say, thank you for that. You're welcome. You're welcome. And always remember, everyone, there's a there's there's a positive and there's two sides to everything. Mm -hmm. Everything has two sides. Right. I mean, you could look at. Um, something negative, like. It could be anything. Uh, somebody lost a job. Okay, you lost your job. You can look at that as a negative. But guess what? There's a positive side to someone losing their job as well. That job could have been stressing them out to the point that it was making them physically ill. Depression, high blood pressure. You understand what I'm saying? So there's a po the positive. Okay, guess what? Now they don't have that stress of that job anymore. Now it's that losing that job forced them to start a business right or or to change careers there, there's a negative and a positive to everything you may have a point of view about something that you feel very very strongly about and for the life of you you cannot figure out why the rest of the world doesn't see it the way you see it guess what go to chat gpt and say give me 10 reasons why I shouldn't believe blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. So that you can hear the other side of the story. It could be like, I hate um, avocado. Can't stand it. It's disgusting. I know y'all like, <clears throat> y'all clutching your pearls. I don't like avocado, right? But I could go oh. to chat GPT and say, give me 10 reasons why I should eat avocado. Or give me... Uh, provide me with five recipes using avocado for people who don't like avocado. So now it can give me some creative ways to use it that I might like it with these creative recipes, right? But I mean, we we I feel like we've come just society in general is so much. If you don't believe what I believe, if you don't see the things the way I see. 
then you know you're a bunch of names right and we can't understand why people think the way they think but use chat gpt to see the other side that they're not telling you about <laughs> you understand what i'm saying Ex use it to expand your knowledge of life of the world let it show you the other side because sometimes we just live in a box and so i i'm always and and i'm like delta like in the beginning all I heard was the negative about AI. And so because that's what was put out there, right? The media, anything on the media was always saying something negative about AI. They never, well, the media never gives good news, right? <laughs> the media always gives bad news. So if I only listen to the media about AI, we wouldn't be having this training today. So I had to go and research the positive side of AI and look at how it's going to enhance everyone, right? Because I didn't stay closed-minded and I was willing to take a look at the other side, even though initially I wasn't you know, feeling it. Look how it expanded my, my thoughts, my ideas now. And because of that, because I kept an open mind and I was willing to look at the other side, you all get to benefit from the information. Everybody watching this video on YouTube is going to get to benefit from this information because I didn't have a closed mind. I was willing to say, okay, there's a negative to this, but there's also got to be a positive. Let me research and find the positive to this. And how can we use it to grow our business? So kind of keep that in mind. Amira? This is great, first of all, because sometimes, like, really, I've talked to you before about just not knowing what to post and stuff like that. And a couple of the ideas that I had about trying to post things, you actually covered in here, um, which is so helpful. Um, I'm thankful for you just as much as everybody else. So, um, but I do want to ask, can you kind of, can you type in a prompt just for, um, just for travel, just, just, just in general, like, um, to invite people to your travel business, to invite people to book with you um, and see what that, not necessarily just specifically for a specific location, but just like, you okay. know what I mean? Yes, let's okay. do this. Okay. You all can see my screen? Yes? Yes. Okay. Yes. So create a post, 25 words or less for why you should book with me as your travel advisor. Expert guidance, personalized itineraries, and insider tips. Unlock unforgettable adventures with me as your trusted travel advisor. Let's make your dream trip a reality. Let's make it longer. I'm going to hold down on it and click on make it longer. Are you seeking a seamless and extraordinary travel experience? Look no further. As your dedicated travel advisor, I'll curate your journey with meticulous attention to detail from securing the best deals to crafting custom itinerary, blah, blah, blah. Y'all see that? Or I can hold down and say, regenerate. So you just have to get comfortable with the same question you would ask me learn how to ask AI. The questions you wanna reach out to ask another, your, your upline director or whatever, try asking AI. <laughs> it, it, it'll probably give you a better answer, right? And give you lots of different ways of saying it. Any other qu closing questions, comments, feedback? Director Green, are you still on? I don't know if you're able to speak. 
Love to hear from all the directors, get your feedback on today's topic. Hello. Good afternoon, oh, everyone. Um, <laughs> I love today's topic. I feel like this is something good. I'm definitely going to share with my team. I have heard about Chat GTI, but I just haven't really like got into it. But now that I know the ins and outs of it, I'm definitely going to be purchasing it to help my content, even though I like talking a lot. But I love it. Thank you so much for this amazing information today, Director Burke. You're welcome. You're welcome. Director Green? You know me. Oh my goodness. I'm just, I'm I at a loss of words. This is absolutely amazing, right? Because English was not my major. I'm a math. I, I like money. I know I'll account that money, right? But I ain't no shame in my game. Oh, I will be using this and I will be sharing just like Ms. Short said. I will be sharing this with the team, right? So they can quit calling me and asking me. They just don't know. You talk to me about numbers, not words, right? Numbers. So thank you so very much. I appreciate it. I, I just, you, you know, I just love you. I just love, love you. you too. <laughs> right? I can't wait to see you next week. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you, thank you thank so much you for so that. Much. Yeah. And, and listen, newsletters. Use this to create, it'll create the whole newsletter for you. I did a search for that. I, have, I just started a newsletter a couple of months ago for my travel agency business. And I said, oh, type in chat GPT, you know, create a newsletter, you know, on luxury travel. And it put the whole thing together for me. I'm like, now I don't have to spend so much time trying to find content for a newsletter every single month. Or I don't have to pay someone to, you know, man, you know what? All those people who hire people to run their social media, they ain't going to have a job with chat GPT. So they're going to have to find out something else that they're passionate about because you don't need those people now. Why would you pay someone to run your social media when you got chat GPT? Just saying, right? So it is amazing. If you are on YouTube, please click the subscribe button, like this channel so that, you know, YouTube can share this training with others. So thank you all. I appreciate you and I'll see you on Thursday. Have an amazing day, everyone. Bye.